Well, I'm not sure I can live up to that billing, but I will try. <laughs> so good afternoon and welcome, fellow graduates, our faculty and staff, all of our family and friends, and our esteemed platform guests. Uh, to my fellow graduates, I'd like to thank you for giving me this honor of representing you today. I'm looking out at people who make me feel entirely unworthy of this, but thank you. Like a lot of others who grew up in this part of the country, I originally dropped out of school when I was just a teenager because I was certain I'd found my dream job. The commercial fishery required no education, could make lots and lots of money, and it was fun. It didn't even seem like work. However, Grand Fisher on the East Coast collapsed, and like a lot of others, I found myself suddenly unemployed, and I had no backup plan. So after many years of bouncing around from job to job, with each year that passed, I regretted more and more and more that I had virtually no education. I wasn't sure where NSCC's ALP program would lead me, but I was certain that it would have to be a step in the right direction. The first few weeks I spent at NSCC, like I'm sure everyone here can relate to, it seemed overwhelming, but everything gradually settled into routine, and it became a very enjoyable routine. The hard work and the determination that all of us graduates have put in, I'm certain we can all agree, was well worth the effort. And we have been given the confidence and the knowledge in ourselves to believe that we can do anything we put our minds to. Myself and all the other graduates share many things in common. The first and foremost, we have all had the opportunity and the privilege of attending the Shelburne campus of NSCC, which is truly a friends and family atmosphere not a school. We've received the support and encouragement that allows us to be here today. In addition, Donna, we have received the best cafeteria food that I'm sure the world has ever seen. So thank you to all the faculty, staff, our family and friends who've helped us along the way because none of us would be here today without you. I think we also share something in common that was instilled in me by my grandfather when I was just a little boy. I was helping stack up the winter supply of firewood with my grandfather in his woodshed. And of course, being a kid, I couldn't wait to get back outside and play. So I was rushing through, throwing wood in the shed, stacking it up. My grandfather stopped me and said, slow down. He said, here's something you need to remember. He said, it doesn't matter what you're doing, no matter in your mind, if it seems small, insignificant, means nothing. Try to do it the best way that you can, and when you're done, you'll be proud of what you've accomplished. So like all of us getting diplomas today, I think we all can be proud of what we've accomplished. However, I believe the single most important trait that all of us share is a desire to better ourselves. Some of us are receiving our high school diplomas today, and some of us have already moved on to the next step. But we all began with a desire to be better today than we were yesterday. Not only are we better today than we were yesterday, we'll be better next week, next month, and next year. We will continue to grow, we'll continue to learn, and we'll continue to be the best version of ourselves that we can be. I'm sure you've all heard the cliches from graduating classes about how now you're ready to go out and change the world. I'm not really sure if any of us began with a desire to change the world when we started this journey, but I do believe that by changing our own world for the better, perhaps we will actually change the entire world for the better. One of my personal heroes, the great Malcolm X, once said, education is our passport to the future for tomorrow belongs to those who prepare for it today. So congratulations, fellow graduates. We have indeed prepared for tomorrow. And once again, thank you to everyone who helped us make it here.